Greetings. My name is David Zokaitis. And when we come here on Tuesday, we all pledge allegiance. And part of that pledge is, you know, with liberty and justice for all. Well, you know, that, that sounds really nice, but I had a bad experience in the liberty and justice realm that half of you haven't heard of, so I think I'll take this opportunity to, to let you know what happened. Last fall, I was detained by four Sioux Falls police officers who'd not, who did not suspect me of illegal activity. That's a crime. It is illegal per Terry versus Ohio for police to detain you when they do not reasonably suspect criminal activity. All right, my, being detained is bad enough, but I think assault is more dangerous. Assault is legally defined as actions which promote fear of imminent bodily harm. Let's suppose that uh, four bad looking people surround one police officer and attempt to grab that man's arm. I think these four dastardly looking people could expect to be shot because the police officer would be in fear for his life. I was detained by four cops who had no suspicion. One of them reached out to grab my arm. I think that is good, a good way to provoke fear and should be defined as assault. Now, as bad as this story is, I think the worst part is how the four police officers have been defended every step of the way. I mean, uh, the city has defended them. I've contacted various um, state departments. South Dakota State, they've all been defended there. Tried to talk to the FBI, Department of Justice, nobody cares. So anyway, I'm kind of cynical as in the liberty and justice for all kind of thing. But anyway, you know, we come here every Tuesday and we pledge allegiance for you know, liberty and justice for all. And you know, I look around at the world and I see bad things going on and they bother me. So I come here and Hopefully, we'll find a way to make the world a little better. And in the liberty and justice for all realm, I have a city ordinance that needs some work. Again, half of you haven't seen this. Um, neither half have. That's the city ordinance. It says that uh, police can remove your permit for any good cause. I'm not making this up. That's what the city ordinance says. And if you read the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, there's a conflict between the ordinance and the Constitution. Your ordinance violates due process of law because there's no judge, there's no hearing. It's just police, you know, yanking a permit for what they deem to be a good cause. And this ordinance also violates the injunction against double jeopardy because, you know, double jeopardy means there should be one violation and one penalty. But if you go in Saudi Arabia and get a parking ticket, according to this ordinance, you can come back home and lose your permit. That's just what it says. So it's unconstitutional. And this clause for other good cause is just almost unfathomable. I mean, how could a city ordinance include such general language that gives police such wide-ranging authority? It's just it just doesn't make any sense. So anyway, for those of you who buy into this liberty and justice for all kind of business, I would recommend that you go and repeal this ordinance because it is such a flagrant violation of constitutional rights and it flies in the face of the pledge that we all say every Tuesday. And with that, 40 seconds early, bid you all a good evening.